Hi everyone, welcome to Lotus Goddess Divine Love. Hope everyone's doing well and staying safe. Um, first, I'd like to thank everyone who subscribed to my channel. Welcome to the new subscribers. And thank you for joining the membership. Um, it's nice to see you in the community, community section of my channel. And um, if you'd like to join the membership, um, you'll be able to have access to the special perks on my channel, which include um, a special loyalty badge next to your name and you'll have access to the community section um, there's also um, bonus readings on there so sometimes I put bonus readings in there um, that are for members only and um, yeah another information that um, that I like to share is also on the in the membership portion of the channel so I'll get started with the reading and you must be wondering where is Divine Masculine? He's he's sleeping. <laughs> he's fast asleep. Bunny Rabbit needs to take some rest. Let's see what messages comes through. karmic um energy she she or he take it as it resonates um and please keep in mind that this is a general reading it's not a private reading they are um the energy is quite strong in the reading i feel like this uh divine uh, masculine um because he's pulling his energy um, away from the karmic partner. The karmic partner is starting to sense that there's a disconnect um, because they were both on the same energy level, okay? Um, Divine Masculine is starting to raise his vibration. I feel like he's not quite there yet, but he's, he's heightened a bit. And he, this karmic is sensing a detachment. I see here that the karmic energy, she's doing something that's very um, immature. Um, I feel like there's some kind of, it feels like some kind of um, play, playing something, playing, playing some kind of, it's like playing some kind of, um, I feel like some, She's trying to appear in a certain kind of way. Her, her image, her style, her... I feel like she's trying to change to make herself more... Um, I feel like she... Like to pull the Divine Masculine. It's like the attention. Pull the attention of the Divine Masculine by acting a certain way. Or it feels like a different kind of energy. Hmm. It's like a I don't know what it's called, but it's it feels like it's just trying to draw attention to um bring in the divine masculine towards them. I feel like they don't know what else to do to hold on to this divine masculine. So they're trying to grab this attention by changing their, um, the way they talk, the way they act, like their demeanor. I feel like the demeanor is changing. They're putting on a persona. That's what it feels like. They're putting on some kind of different kind of image to attract the attention of divine mask and it's like come <laughs> it feels like it's so weird it's like come like i feel like towards me that kind of thing really really eerie feeling but uh 
But what I see here, Divine Masculine is like, oh, what the heck is this? What, <laughs> what's going on here? Why, why are you wink, winking at me? <laughs> I feel like, why are you looking at me that way? Why are you winking? Do you have something in your eye? Why are you winking? <laughs> oh, that's just my fake eyelash. It's just falling off. <laughs> Let me put this back on. My fake eyelashes along with my my fake persona. Do you like my new hair? Do I look like Divine Feminine today? <laughs> I feel like she's just trying to put on it, an act to lure. That's what it is. Lure the attention of Divine Masculine with her fake eyelashes. And it's just strange. The roles can be reversed. Take it as it resonates. It could be a male karmic could be a female karmic but it's something having to do with trying to change their style to get the attention of the divine masculine because they sense that the energy is shifting the energy of the divine masculine is starting to pull themselves back and they don't know what else to do and they feel like this is the only thing that they can give that can grab the attention back because i feel like they've done this maybe in the past before and they think that it's going to work this time. But no, Divine Masculine is no longer in that lowest of the lowest vibrational energy where they can get drawn towards something like that. I feel like now they are starting to recognize that this looks kind of weird. Like, why are you winking at me like that? Why, are you, why, do you, why do you talk like that? Or why do you act like that? They can see that it's not, it's not unnatural. We can see that it's not authentic. It's not with good intentions. They feel it. Their intuitive side is kicking in. That there's something off here. I feel like the karmic energy there, one of the reasons why they're doing this is to prevent, this is the spiritual side of it. This is the spiritual reason why. It's to um, distract the divine masculine from their um, awakening. Because the karmic energy can sense that the divine masculine is going to have like a, it's kind of like a spiritual awakening, like a breakthrough that their third eye is going to fully open and they're trying to and not only third eye it's the heart chakra as well so i see here that the karmic is doing this and this is part of the journey as well that's their role as a karmic um individual to help divine masculine awaken to his true authentic self and one of the things that they that the karmic is sensing is that there's going to be a change here and they don't like i feel like they they don't like the word change they like what they know they like what they have um they have uh, created i feel like they've most of the life that divine masculine and the karmic share together the connection that they have together it was created by this karmic partner. Like I feel like they had a lot of say in whatever lifestyle that they're living. Divine Masculine just went along with it. But I feel like Divine Masculine didn't really plan a life like this. This is something that the karmic planned out and kind of like made Divine Masculine get used to this kind of environment. They did it in a strategic way that made the Divine Masculine feel that they were making their own choices. But in fact, it was the karmic that was kind of like um, influencing the Divine Masculine's decisions to make certain decisions in his life when it came to the karmic partner. So they kind of like merged them into this kind of environment, this kind of lifestyle, this kind of being and made them feel like it's okay to be this way, but 
whatever this thing is, it's just, oh, it feels like tiring to me. Like even when I'm reading this, it feels tiring. Because of this dark, um, this dark energy, this environment, Divine Masculine's, um, his views, his visions, his heart, they were closed. They were not open. They were not, he was not able to see uh, what was going on around him. I, I feel like now he's starting to slowly um, sense things, slowly start to feel things, slowly start to um, see things. Um, and there's a lot of hidden secrets from the Divine Masculine. Like, I feel I feel sad for Divine Masculine because in this reading, he has no idea what the heck has been going on in his life with this karmic person. Like, I feel like he knows, okay, this environment is different, but there's a lot to this, like a lot of things. I think because Divine Masculine is very good at heart, like in... Divine Masculine is a genuine person, a good human being. It's just that he, his, his influences, his, um, his judgment, his intuitive side were kind of like steered into a different direction. He, he wasn't able to see clearly. It was unknowingly that this happened to the Divine Masculine. But now that the Divine Masculine is starting to sense things, figure things out, start to like, it feels like, wait a minute, what, what, what have I been doing all these years? What have I been experiencing? Like, this doesn't feel right. I don't feel good. This energy, this way of living doesn't feel good to me. So why am I here? This is not what I imagined myself in for my future this is not the type of lifestyle i imagine for myself and what is beautiful about this reading he's what's giving divine masculine strength at this time is his um connection to divine feminine like he's slowly starting to feel the love within himself this that's the self-love and the connection the bond with divine feminine i feel like he's not fully awakened to the point where he's like yes divine feminine is the one i feel like he's not there yet he, what i feel from divine masculine is that there's more out there for me i deserve love i deserve to be loved i deserve a better life i deserve more than this and which is the divine feminine but he's not putting those two puzzle pieces together that in order to have this beautiful, loving life that you've always dreamed of, that you deserve, that the divine has gifted to you, that is with your divine counterpart, divine feminine. He doesn't see that part yet. He, he knows he wants this. He wants this love, this beautiful love, this life that he's always dreamed about, that inner knowing that he deserves more. But he's unable to see at this time that it is the Divine Feminine. But he feels the connection. He feels there is something out there for me. It can't be this. My life cannot be this. I cannot be growing old in this kind of lifestyle. This is not what I imagine myself to be. I imagine myself to be in a loving home with a loving husband or wife or children. Maybe some beautiful pets. A beautiful fence picket fence garden a nice you know have a nice cup of tea with my spouse on the porch you can imagine retirement i feel like divine masculine wants all those things at one point i feel like he may not have really valued those kind of things but now He's like, no, no, no. This this is something that I deserve. This is I don't want to be alone. I don't want to um live a life where 
where I always have to question, um, is this for me or not? Or is this the place I need to be? I want to be home. I feel like he wants to be home. And his home lies within the divine feminine. It's just that he's not able to put those two pieces together. I see here that um, there's beautiful things coming for this divine masculine. It, there's a mixture of energies in this reading. It's shifting from one to the other. I can see that the, the divine masculine is has a lot of dreams. He has a lot of goals. He wants a beautiful home life. He wants a beautiful family. He wants to celebrate life. He doesn't want... I feel like the last few years um, was passing him by. It's like living the same routine over and over and over again with no excitement, no thrill, no, no real like goals or nothing is, is, is inspiring to him. He's not being inspired by anything. He's not feeling like there's nothing that gives him excitement in life when it comes to this dark karmic energy feels like this was a divine masculine what point in his life he may have been a go-getter kind of like let me go and experience this or let me go try this out or um i feel like he could have been even some cases more of an extrovert but now he's turned into an introvert Or maybe he was introverted. Also, this is another um, thing I feel as well. He could have been introverted. But when he connected with this karmic, it gave him like a thrill, some kind of excitement that there's something new. I've never, I've never been so, I've never felt so alive before because it felt kind of like, um, it felt like this doing whatever carefree without thinking about any kind of consequences attached to it. Like if somebody were to, if somebody's feelings were to get hurt, for example, Divine Feminine didn't really think about that. It's just like, let me just have my fun. Because I feel like he was very immature. He was not ready to settle down. He was not ready to actually have um, the life that he now imagines himself um, living. I see that he's trying to make a decision about what to do for his future. I feel like future is an important plan for him. In some cases, the Divine Masculine has aged. Um, he's spent a lot of time away from Divine Feminine and he's thinking, if now, then when? Like, a lot of time has passed. Um, I feel like he doesn't want to miss out on, on anything good in life because he's wasted so much time on, on things that really didn't um, and people who, who really weren't there for him. Like I feel like I feel like he knew a lot of people. And, but when it comes to if he needed um, some guidance, if he needed to talk to somebody um, from, from maybe like 30 people, maybe one person was a very valuable friend. So he's starting to know the difference between um, what is illusion and what is reality. Like the illusion of having so-called 30 people who you think are your true friends but in the end only one is there who is standing by your side when you really need some someone to talk to that's the reality i feel like he he enjoyed that popularity at one point in his life where he was able to hang out um 
meet a lot of people but now it's it's like in that crowd in that group that crowd divine masculine felt lonely he felt a disconnect from the group and that's because and what i see here it has to do with the group the group though divine masculine was within that that circle or social group or whatever it is take it as it resonates you you know based off of your situation but whatever this group was though divine masculine was in that group he was not part of the group i feel like there was always a disconnect that he always felt that he didn't belong and they also made him feel like you don't really belong here you're here I feel like some of them don't like Divine Masculine. They feel like we're tolerating this person. We don't really like you. And that's because of the energy. Because even if the Divine Masculine's energy was quite low vibration, I feel like his, because he is a divine being, he's a divine masculine being, they sense that there's something different about this, this person. And they can't really figure it out. They have no clue that the angels, the angels, the guardian angels, the divine is watching over a divine mask. I see full protection here. The entire time he was with these individuals in this environment, this group, he had full protection of the divine. Whether it was a good situation, not so good situation, either way, divine masculine was always protected and he was always connected to divine feminine. That was the that was the two things that really helped him stand firm, like stand stand up. Like I feel like it was the one strength that held helped him hold on to hope that there is something more greater for me out there, that this cannot be it. He has not fully given himself into this energy. He still had that ray of hope because of the divine's protection and because of divine masculine's connection that intertwined with his counterpart, twin flame. It was the twin flame energy that kept him in that strength, whatever strength that was left within him. I mean, the flame never went out. Let's just say that the flame of the divine mask and divine feminine the twin flame it never went out it can never go out it's the eternal flame that flame was always with divine masculine that's what gave him the strength to endure what he had to endure with this energy this karmic partner so moving forward in the reading Oh, there is, um, there's more here, actually. Um, Divine Masculine, ooh. Divine Masculine, he really didn't know uh, what he was getting himself into, this kind of energy. He didn't know that this energy was going to drain him. Like, I feel like it, it was a very slow process. He didn't, he had no clue that by the time by the time he was ready to step away from this connection, whatever this connection is, that he would feel so tired. Like it feels like he, feels like he, um, it's kind of like, um, somebody who say if the somebody who used to go to the gym, right, work out constantly, you, and they're keeping themselves fit, they have, um, they do a lot of running, they're good at cardio, right, and they can run like uh, many, many laps, right. But once you get off of the treadmill, once you stop, you know, exercising, right, you're, 
it's kind of difficult to get back into that routine. It's kind of difficult to run those laps like you used to run. So that's what it feels like for this Divine Masculine. Like once he got drained of his um, energy within this um, karmic energy environment, um, I feel like he, it was kind of like he's not going, it's not like he, it feels like he, his body has slowed down. Like he's not used to feeling this way. And it feels like he needs to pick that momentum up again. It's like if you ask Divine Masculine to run on the treadmill for for hours, he's unable to do so because he's been in this energy for so long. So it slowed his process down. So now he needs to slowly pick up the momentum. I feel like he's not able to run or jog at this time. He's just walking slow. And then he, it's like a process. He's going to walk slowly, right? To get out of this energy, he's going to walk slowly. And then he's going to, you know, then all of a sudden he's going to speed walk. And then from speed walk, he's going to start jogging. And from jogging, he's going to start running. And that's when he can boost his his energy to a higher vibration. Just feels like he needs a lot of clearing. There needs to be clearing out. Um, clearing, purging, releasing. But he has released some, some things that didn't serve him in a positive way. So that's good. Another thing I see here, there, I don't know, I don't know exactly if this happened yet because the energy is quite strong here. It looks like it's very close. It could have recently just happened or it will happen very soon. But this is a divine masculine, whoever this resonates for. He will have more information that will push him like really push him to move away from this because it feels like there's a lot of um there's disloyalty here lots of um things that are not truthful here and whatever this is the divine masculine will not want any part of this this um energy anymore they want to step away from this karmic person And there's no going back. And one of the things that I see here, the Divine Masculine will be um, asking, asking God for help. There's going to be a lot of prayers happening here. Divine Masculine will, I feel like they will get down on their knees and pray for, for help to um, leave this situation. Because whatever it is, it's not going to be easy for them to um, come out of. But they are going to really pray pray for guidance and they they will they will come out of it because i see that there's no um there's no restoring of the old it's kind of like if somebody were to try to reach out to divine masculine there's no way that they're going to return back because i see that there's only forward movement and there's going to be movement towards the divine feminine here This will take a little bit time, but once this is cleared out, there will be movement towards divine feminine. That's why it's showing in this reading. But it shows it; it's going to happen at the time at a time where divine feminine least expects it, because divine feminine will have something, a few things going in their life, and there's it's going to happen at a time where divine feminine is confused about something. It's kind of like they're they're in the middle of some kind of transition. And in the midst of that transition, Divine Masculine shows up. <laughs> it's like, say if Divine Feminine is planning to move from one apartment to another, you're literally moving your stuff from, and you're, you're really getting tired. Like you, 
because it's a lot of work, you know, packing, unpacking, loading the boxes, you know, putting it in the vehicle, taking it to the new location. It has something to do with Divine Feminine working really hard. And in the middle of it, Divine Masculine just shows up while you're, I feel like it's funny because I feel like, imagine Divine Feminine is literally like put putting the boxes in a vehicle, like taping it up, putting it in the vehicle and Divine Masculine like drives and just parks right behind that truck or vehicle where you're trying to move. So it feels like it's going to come out of nowhere and it's going to take Divine Feminine off guard. Like, whoa, wh what a what a weird timing. Like, I feel like it's very weird timing for whoever this resonates for. So that's the reading for today. If you like my readings, please subscribe to my channel. Um, you can join the membership if you like, um, where I have a section on the community board. There's going to be um, different kind of bonus readings and more. <laughs> so if you like to join, you can join that. And thank you for watching. Have a great day, everyone. Bye, everyone.